becoming increasingly clear to more and more people that the only way through is to innovate and change our old systems. Uh, I'm convinced that uh, a sustained and strategic investment in children ages uh, zero to five is an absolute key to achieving our state's long-term educational and economic objectives. We're imagining a new facility in an open field that will meet the needs of children in the community from birth to age five, the years before kindergarten. The early learning part of the building is a community space. Parents and children are there learning, but they're connected to the school in a way so that those young children are preparing and know what comes next. They're going to get that stimulation that they need to be prepared to carry them all the way through through their high school years. We've been working with the Children's Institute and they have been just uh, incredible. Bringing the right people to the table to start those conversations and to start talking about what would an ideal program look like. It's not necessarily all educational uh, to be able to serve their physical, emotional, social growth as well as the educational growth. What I love about this model is that it's taking a step towards really creating a sense of community for families and their children. We certainly will look for how are children doing uh, in, in school. Uh, are they meeting the third grade benchmarks? That's an important uh, indicator of success because that indicator of success we have seen from all of the research uh, is predictive of what happens down the road. I think the Earl Boyles uh, program will link uh, best practice in early childhood development in a continuum that's overlapping and reinforcing so that the child enters this early grade of school much better prepared to succeed. And I think both uh, fiscal conservatism and investing in early childhood education are hand in glove. And I think one of the wisest investments of the state's funds is in early childhood education. You get great return on that investment. So we started with a shared vision, and the vision's pretty straightforward. Uh, by 2020, by the time the kids who are in kindergarten today graduate from high school, we want a state where all of our children are in fact ready to learn when they come into school, that they're reading when they come out of the first grade, that graduation rates are going up and dropout rates are going down. My hope that the Earl Boyle uh, experience will be something that we can duplicate, that it will be a model that communities will be able to duplicate in their own communities. Now is the time to be proactive with our children, not reactive. I think it's time to be courageous. This is an opportunity to stop the problem before it begins. The time has come for every child to have the opportunity to be successful in school. And that won't happen till all children have the benefits of early learning.